Oh, I have to say, I wasn't expecting all my districts to disappear when I the terraforming got finished, but that happened. Uh, I have a spare governor. Take it. Increase stability, please. Gonna need... That, I think. Yeah, Fernglade completely lost the ability to make food. This is, like, all their freaking features vanished. Not that it had that many to begin with, but it'll have a lot of city districts, I guess. I'm trying to rebuild these as fast as possible. We're losing a bunch of consumer goods because I had to increase benefits. And we're hemorrhaging minerals because Bo lost all its mining districts. I'm trying to get that, which is why I hired and fired like 20 governors until I got one with architectural interests so this would build faster. Thankfully, I got that recently, so that will help. There's another level to this, and I don't have it yet. I wasn't, you know, expecting to do a ton of building real fast. But that's where we are right now. Gonna max out the generators here. I've got six farms. The immigration pull is really strong because there's... The housing has completely vanished from here. Because all the districts died and with them the housing. So there's unemployment and no housing, so... Yeah, a huge push outward. Which is making my capital grow like crazy. We got 9.10 a month. Despite strict rationing. We won't need strict rationing once uh, this is done. Our empire spell shrank a lot when the terraforming was done. So that's neat. Let me see if this works as I think it did. How do you see their production? Like individually. There used to be a bonus for being on a Gaia world. Plus 10% happiness for being on a Gaia world. That helps. Yeah, plus 10% production for being on a Gaia world. I think that helps. I think uh, the only ones that are better are Machine Worlds for Machines and the Big City Planet for everyone else. But Gaia Worlds are nice. No complaints. That's why I turned every planet into it. I just, you know, was caught off guard, obviously. But we'll fix it. Just like we fix all my other mistakes. With bribery, I guess. Still trending downward. How much longer does this trade I gave you last? Four more years. I'll do it again, I think. Well, once Bo is back up on its feet anyway. <laughs> Barely growing. <sighs> I wish there was a decision I could put in that would say, please build faster. I could expel excess population. Let's not do that, though. I wonder if there's a way to abandon the world. I don't know. We're going to lose a lot of minerals once the terraforming here is done. We might lose 
some of these things, which is, you know, annoying, but that's okay. I feel like my available housing went down when I changed. That might just be the uh, loss of districts, though. We still have... Two, four, six more coming in, so that might be it. I don't see how this... Like, the city district stayed, but everything else lost, went away. Which is weird to me. But whatever. We'll continue. Hey guys, something has happened and I don't know what it is. I don't think I've seen this event before. Also, every planet is Gaia now. This is the uh, once barren world, it's now Gaia. It hasn't been around very long yet. We have some migra a migration treaty because I've decided to, against pacifist and we're going for a uh, xenophile. And it's kind of hard to pump them up us without getting uh, extra xenos in the empire. So that's what I've done. So we're getting all sorts of weirdos because we have migration with these guys who have migration with other people and it just kind of spirals out from there. These people who have migration with other people. So you're just going to get everybody eventually. Also, I renamed this planet to Floral Arrangement because that was appropriate. I've also forced... I guess I don't need to force bugs to be the only ones to grow here anymore. Any species. It was just bugs before because it was a desert world and they were the only ones I had that were compatible. Man, this game has changed a lot from what I planned. But I guess you just have to adapt as you go. These people really want me to be federated, but I don't think I'm ready for that yet. Anyway, a dimensional portal has been discovered on Shrubbery, this place I just... Formerly Barren World. By the slight leakage of atmosphere into the portal. It doesn't make any difference to the life on Shrubbery. Where does it lead? Situation log revised. Okay. Portal research area. One dimensional portal researcher job. One dimensional portal researcher job per 40 population. And I bet he's a specialist? No, there's still colonists. I don't have enough population here to get up. Anyway. Alright, the Fallen Empires are going to win via score victory in... Why is score victory on? 2,500? That's a ways off anyway. Well, I guess we're just going to research that. We don't even need a science ship. Let's peek into the ether and see where it goes in five months. I guess we're going to be hanging out till then. Something else that's shown up. This is a reference to a book. What is this book's name? I remember it. Uh... the heck is it referencing? Yeah, Rama. Right? Rendezvous with Rama. Science fiction novel by Arthur C. Clarke. It was also... Uh, an adventure game, which I never played because I never really got into adventure games. I guess we're going to research it, too. As it parks above one of my many Gaia worlds. And we have no idea what it's doing, but we can look through it.
I should actually read that whole book. Whoa. Okay, you want Magenta Frond. Magenta Frond. You want my science researcher that's 93 years old and is going to die soon. How do you feel about us in general? I think you hate us in general. You're like at minus 40 because we are opposing... Eh, uh, whatever. He's needed to be rehired anyway. Yeah, yeah, shut up. Also, we've researched a few things. I've got battleships being built right now. Huh, too bad. I hope it hovers over my main planet for a while because when it's over it, it boosts science research and, you know, that's where all my science is. I should really upgrade this. It was very expensive to upgrade my fleet, by the way. But, uh... See? Battleship. We got ourselves a mega cannon and some big lasers. We've got a carrier here. There's the cruiser, if you're wondering. The destroyer. I could probably uh, change the destroyers back into something with guns because the, uh, the carrier has a lot of point defense on it. And then there's the, inter the corvette. Man, that thing makes a big disturbance when it jumps. It's pretty big, though. going here. Yeah, I don't understand why districts just vanish when you... Well, like, I understand why these, like these down here, they go away, but I don't understand why you don't get the same number of buildings now this place is probably just gonna have a ton of city on it because there's no space for energy or minerals anymore I can just put down farms it's an agro world but it does like all my resources are doing pretty good now keep in mind that I'm actually making 20 more than this because these guys are siphoning off 20 I will not be giving them that trade anymore because I unrivaled their allies so I no longer have a minus 100 penalty. Sure. I kinda wish I had... Jeez. They're in control of the Federation fleet, that's why. Oh, Zero Corp. Yo. My whatever whatever these companies sells crystals. Look, I'm giving you so much. Why don't you like me? Why do you hate me now? You had your border was open a little while ago. I don't freaking get it. Special project actualized. Okay. Doesn't seem to have done anything. Oh. The dimensional portal on Sharper leads to a dimension of pure energy. A small amount of which can be siphoned through the portal for our own use. The procedure used... Procedure is used to handle...